In this edition of our useful website series, I'll show you eight sites in a variety of categories that you may not know existed, a few of which were suggested by viewers in the comments of prior videos in this series. Let's get started. Quant is a European-based search engine like DuckDuckGo and StartPage that is privacy-focused. They don't store or sell your information, and they don't use cookies. After doing a search, it gives the result in a layout that is very similar to Google, Bing, and most other search engines. At the top, you have the familiar options to filter your results, including news, images, videos, and if applicable, shopping and maps. So if you want a more privacy-focused search engine than Google or Bing, Quant is another one to consider. BeFunky is a photo editor that is very similar to Pixlr, PicMonkey, and the others I've shown you in prior videos. Some of our viewers in the comments said they preferred BeFunky to those others, so I'll share this with all of you. You have the option to upload one of your photos or use one of theirs. I'll select one of theirs for now. Along the left-hand side, you'll see several tools to enhance your photo. With most of these, by selecting one of the tools, you simply just have to move the slider and then select the check mark. When you're done, you can select Save to save the photo to your computer, Be Funky, Facebook, Google Drive, and Dropbox. They also have a collage maker and a designer tool with several templates. Free Code Camp is a nonprofit coding site for those of you that want to become computer programmers. Just like the many other programming sites I've mentioned in the past, this site offers lessons in several skills, including HTML5, JavaScript, Node.js, and many others. And if you need help, they have a useful forum to get help from other developers. So if you want to learn how to code for free, Free Code Camp is another great resource. Staying in the computer programming category, Geeks for Geeks is another great resource. There is so much to learn on this site, from the basics of algorithms and data structures to programming languages, along with several other categories on their site. Before you go to an interview with a prospective company, you may want to check out their interview experiences section to find out how others fared during the interview process with many companies, including Amazon, Google, Microsoft, and others. PrivNote is a site that will allow you to send messages that will self-destruct after they are read. It's really simple to use. Write your note. The default option is to automatically destroy your note after it's been read. If you select Show Options, you can change that to one hour from now all the way up to 30 days from now. You can also create a password for you and the recipient and you can be notified by email after the note has been destroyed. Select Create Note. Here, you can copy the link, email the link, or opt to destroy the note now. PrivNote is free and is an easy way to send secret messages that can only be seen and read by you and your recipient. JobScan is a tool that gives job seekers an instant analysis of how well their resume is tailored for a particular job. I'll be using the resume and job description provided by JobScan to demonstrate. The first step is to paste your resume, then paste the entire job description text, then select Scan. It will now go through an analysis of what is good on your resume and what can be improved. Here it says the word count is too long and shows words to avoid on the resume. As you scroll down through the page, it will give you additional information. JobScan does have a free plan that gives you five free scans when you initially sign up and two free scans for every month after that. For additional features, including unlimited scans, their paid plans start at $29.99 per month. Highbrow is a non-traditional learning site designed for those people that have busy lives. The lessons are five minutes long, delivered over 10 days directly to your email inbox. To begin, select a course. They'll provide a brief description of that course, and when you're ready, select Start Course. On this page, you'll need to enter in your email and then select Start This Course. After you do that, you'll now receive a new lesson in your email every day over the next 10 days. 
Only one course can be taken at a time. Highbrow does offer a 30-day free trial to try it out. After the trial ends, their membership fee is $10 per month. Half of that cost goes to the teachers that created the courses. Last but not least is RefDesk. Founded in 1995 with its outdated looking homepage, is a great place to visit to find web-based resources in dozens of categories. I've been coming to the site for years just to check out their site of the day, fact of the day, and other random information. So if you're looking for additional web-based resources, check out RefDesk. Thanks for watching. Links to the sites mentioned are in the description. If this video is useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. If you know of a website that you think would be beneficial to others, let us know about it in the comments. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe and click the bell to not miss out on our latest useful websites videos and other tech-related stuff.